day 30. Yes, we have crossed the half a mark and we are now making things happen. So, and it's, it's not going to be immediate changes, but uh, you are documenting your thing. But until now, uh, we have been talking about it, but what we did is, okay, we introduced the concepts of time system. Monday, uh, where we see, okay, the importance of having a free time, focus time and buffer time, not just have a list of to-do list. Then we just said, okay, we applied that on the quarterly time system. Remember, we work on a on a 90-day sprint normally. So what that means is, you know, it's, yes, it's great to have, uh, you know, uh, daily priorities, but it's good to have because you already have done your activity inventory. You already have done lots of things that you like, that you dislike. We are bringing it together and we worked out the quarterly time system yesterday. But today we will be moving into what we call an ideal week analysis. This is not something that you'll be doing today, but it will be something that I want you to work yourself between now Wednesday and next week Wednesday to just see how you are actively implementing this in your life. So I'm going to send it to you now download it and keep it and the next one which will be working this this one I would want you to print it if possible because or otherwise you can create your own thing this is the first one is ideal week analysis so let me share my stop share and I will share the screen ideal week analysis um, so uh, what do I mean by that is please to download it and if you download let me know you have downloaded it so that we could uh, so that i know you have the documents because the documents are released only to the attendees and not to the others as you know um so if you miss the previous session stuff you know that's not uh, it's, it's sad <laughs> so ideal week analysis what we discussed you know it's more or less we're building from here i assume you have downloaded it um, so what you've got here is on a day-to-day -day basis you are going to add, okay, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, when am I going to allocating my free time? When am I going to allocate my focus time? Free time is total rejuvenation. You're just going to listen to some music. You're going to do what you like, uh, any walk around, do yoga, meditation, do anything that you're cooking, anything other than business that gives you happiness. That's where you stand. Focus is going to be the 100% important thing that fascinates you um, could be business or work related, could, could not be business work related that, that you might be doing. That's focus. Buffer is your day to day ordinary stuff, you know, which is like from your meetings to anything and everything. So block it Monday to Sunday. And I just want you to first block it. Uh, maybe, you know, I know if you, if you came yesterday, you might have already done it. But this is a different template because yesterday was a quarterly template, but now it's a, it's a weekly template. I want you consciously write this on a Sunday afternoon or on a weekend, whenever you believe your day starts, and then start to observe on a day-to-day -day basis what's working for you, what's not working for you. The very first thing is, are you first ensuring that the free time is blocked? You know, yes, I have blocked it, step one, but I'm unable to make the best use of the free time and my buffer day kind of sucks over uh, you know it just takes over you know it's you are going to document this and you're going to work around this it's not going to be a uh, fix and you know obviously a quarter has 12 weeks over a 12 week period you are going to improve you're going to improve and you are going to bring yourself to a structure that works for you and that becomes the previous one that we worked which is you have your quarterly um uh, quarterly time with the priorities and you're going to add it added towards it because this is nothing to do with activities this is predominantly ensuring that you are the discipline to making this happen you have the discipline to make this happen which means okay so strategy is okay i know this isn't working so the strategy for me is maybe tweak the time for free time right and and, and you just kind of build from it so this is uh, yesterday you had your quarterly priorities, but today this is about tactics. You are going to ask the why question again, right? Why? What's stopping me from achieving? What's stopping me? Uh, you know, what's working for me that I could do more? So this is your ideal week analysis. You are officially beginning today, Wednesday, twenty fifth of January, and you will be running it all the way to first of February, right? First of February, where you will be measuring your day to day. 
measuring your day to day and see what works, what doesn't work. So today you could start with Wednesday here and you could block your time. Or if you're starting, if it's already late evening for you, start from Thursday and then go from there. You know, like, um, you know, because I'm not going to check uh, your work, I'm giving you lots of templates, but I assume you're working through behind it. Uh, you know, you can always reach out to me to discuss one to one. Um, this is what I'm doing. This is my template. Anything else? What's your suggestion? What's your advice? And so, so, so. This is what, right? So, hope you got it. Uh, what you need to do, the next one, next one we will be working on um, is going to be stop share. Um, let me stop it. So the next one is going to be a printed version. Enough of working digitally. Let's start working differently. So the next one we will be looking at will be, uh, let me go to the screen, is the ideal week. The other one which I send it to you, and I would very much like you to print that right so why because it's important you do it you paste it in your wall this is your planner planner for the week uh, the very first one which i shared with you is actually analyzing why you are unable to do it how can you do it whereas this one specifically tells you if your day starts early than five o'clock you can do it and if your day goes longer than 10 12 11 o'clock you can also do it again this is you know, this is not editable, it's done deliberately that way. So you print it or you create something in your own, which simply on one end, you are going to write it down, you know, the timings and on the other end, you have the weekdays and you're going to block it. And today we are going to start time blocking as we discussed uh, last week. So this is your template, please do print it, have it, if not create something yourself, not stop for you to create it. So let me move into the time blocking. So which we already discussed, but we are going to build from here. So time blocking, right? So let's talk. We already talked about theme for each day, uh, which is going to be what your focus day. I ideally, I know it's not going to be easy for you. You need to work it through at least for a quarter to really understand. Tuesday, Wednesday is going to be a focus day. Uh, Monday and Friday is going to be a buffer day. And the one half a day, you're going to find a free day, etc. But until you get it, you're going to work through the time. So this is what we'll be working through halfway. I'm not going to, or you know, let's see whether I could finish it today. So the week of tomorrow, I would love you to share what you have done with this template. So let's see. First one is an ideal week. This is what you received. Next one is we have a theme for each day. This is what we told you. Okay, friend, Sunday, it's always going to be my free day, right? Ideally, Sunday and Saturday are your free days. But as he told you, try to get some time out during your weekday. So focus day, again, your focus day, you can split that up into two, three parts. You could make it focus day internal where you're going to use that focus day priorities to ensure you get everything from your internal team. And you have and your focus day, which means this is where you're going to focus predominantly on external people. You know, we're not from your company, we're not from your uh, immediate team. You know, so that's where you're going. Wednesday is a meeting day. This is my schedule. This is my schedule. Wednesday is a meeting day. Uh, that's where I normally meet people. Right? Thursday afternoons or Tuesday or Wednesdays. That's where I meet. This is my focus days. And Thursday is a buffer day for me to digest what happened this week. And, you know, 3 p.m. normally I have a webinar or I have a podcast or I do something, right? So so tomorrow there is a webinar. As you know. So And Friday, um, sometimes it's, it's going to be a webinar for my other company, facilities, research company. That's what we do. So primarily, this is how I structure. So think about where you do. And, you know, by now you should have a good clarity on your free days, focus days and others. So now I've blocked that. The second one is the most important one. I know this is a bit ish, -ish <laughs> but don't worry about the graphics. Focus on blocking the time. This is why you can't do the digital. You have to take a sketch, you have to take a pen, and you have to work it through yourself. So um, if you identify your free days, and if you identify your uh, you know, the time over the days, obviously you're not going to work nine to five. Remember, this is a, even though I started four to six, 
Now, see, the, the time is slightly changed, 4 to 6 to 8 o'clock. I do work. I do work 9.30 to 11, 11 o'clock in the evening as well, 9.30 to 11. After I finish my dinner, after the boys left, I do work. So I, I do spend some time before I sleep. So again, primarily, you now block your personal time. It's absolutely important that your family or your friends or you know this is their time. So, uh, so they know that you are there for them. But anybody, you know, you have your own time, right? So I, I, I know, I know. I, it's um, you do your best, do your best. So I've given some of the examples of in my life, what I do. Um, you know, I normally go to the gym in the evening between half past five, sometimes up to eight. I do two classes, uh, different classes, strength exercises, and also cardio related, 45, 45 minutes each, um, with a 15 minute break. Um, and the uh, evenings, normally between 8 to 9.30 is my family time, put the kids to bed, and then I get back to work, as I told you. Similarly, Sunday, Saturday, football and rugby, um, you know, dropped in, and then I, I have my own time. So where do you spend time? And normally Friday evenings um, could very well be, again, rugby training, or it could be meeting up with friends, which normally happens on a Saturday afternoon or Sunday evenings. So that's where, so it kind of, structured in a way when I block my time I know exactly this Saturday which friends am I meeting which family am I meeting Sunday whom I'm talking to etc and in between I also have time 30 minutes every day uh, while walking from the gym to my home I normally call two to three of my friends so it's always blocked it's always blocked as my personal time and I try to get in touch with you so where is your personal time I just want you to take a point think about it and say morning your personal time evening your personal time and how you're going to do with this, right? So next one. Next one is going to be your start and end time. So what do I mean by start and end time? When do you start your day? <laughs> when do you end your day? You know, it might be sounding silly, but do you actually have a start time and end time? You know, that's always a question, right? Uh, you know, you normally wake up, I don't know, whatever the time you wake up and what I mean, you sleep, but that's your start time and day. Can you consciously make a decision? I wake up 6 a.m. in the morning or 5 a.m. in the morning, that's my start time, and I sleep like 11 p.m. in the night, that's my end time. But do you know that? And can you consciously say, I'm shutting down now, that's it, that's my end time, 11 p.m., no more watching phone, no more doing anything, and I'm just going to close it from there, right? So that's main. So can you, do you have that? If so, now is the time to block it. So again, what that means is, um, <clears throat> also, if you look, there are small fonts here. Um, what, you know, that this also includes travel time. Because if you're traveling to work, if you're traveling to meet a friend, if you're traveling to this, this is where you are going. If you have a regular structure, travel to the gym, travel to drop your kids at school, that's where you're getting, which means, you're now blocking from your me time. You're also blocking your start and end times. So you're not physically starting your work at nine. Maybe you're starting nine to five, but you're leaving home at 8.30. And day 30, you're going to take your kids to school or you're going to do what it takes or you're going to work from home, which means you start a routine. That's important. You know, like, I don't know whether you, we can go in deep on this. I'm not going to deep on that, but do you have a start a routine and a shutdown routine? Which means start a routine is, uh, what are the three things you want to do? Shutdown routine is have, did I do my three things? You know, and uh, what else I was supposed to do? Did I do anyway? If you have all the priorities written, this becomes a straightforward process. So let's just start day and end it. Next, um, I'm going to stop at this one. I'm not going to add any more, which will continue tomorrow. So I don't want to overload you because there are a few more steps with this. So, um, so step four will stop. You now, step four is where you are going to block your recurring meetings and commitments, right? You have this in your digital calendar, 100%, I know, but do you have that in your piece of paper? Uh, because when your PC crashed or something, that's why you miss everything. But I just want you to see how cluttered your life is already, right? Before you even do, we have been dismantling one part at a time, but when you take a piece of paper and try to draw what's happening, what you are doing every day, then it'll be easy for you to estimate, you know, your fascinating stuff that can you block it. Because, you know, that's where we talked about focus day, focus time, but in general, what's happening in your life. So block recurring meetings and commitments. This is, as I already told you, if you have a team meeting, if you have a client meeting, if you have a review meeting, if you have all these things, 
um, you know, if your company doesn't have a regular meetings for these things, then you might need to bring in discipline to do that because there's no point calling a random meeting on a Tuesday afternoon, Wednesday afternoon. If this is the team, then you should review, should be organized always at the right times, you know, Fridays or Mondays, whenever the board is available or the team is available. But team calls by now should be standardized. If not, standardize it now so that you bring in some structure around it. Um, any other ad hoc call, now you have complete control. Do it around the time where you call it focus day. If you're having back-to-back -back subject matter experts call or you back-to-back um, you know, client call or any other you know, you know, proposal reviews, you call it, name it, lock it. You know, So if it's recurring, that's where you're going to. But if it's not recurring, then you have complete control to drop it wherever you want. So in my team, uh, that we have a big three meeting, which is always happens in the first thing in the morning on a Monday, where this is what we need to achieve this week. Um, an all hands meeting is where are we with that? Uh, positive focus is, I know we started this. <laughs> I know we were able to do only one. And the other one is halfway through. And the third one, we haven't even done anything because life took over and we messed up. It's totally normal totally normal that's your positive focus but you look back into the positive thing again all hands meeting to just see can we close what we started can we do a last push all right so that's the that's the four parts we will continue we'll continue more from tomorrow but for now you know you the two things that we discussed number one is from today you are going to start to analyze your ideal week are you blocking your time um, and by the way you're blocking your time uh, what's working for you what's not working for you can you do? that's totally tactical it's nothing to do with what you're going to do in the time it's more about do you have the discipline to say yourself it's focus time and i'm going to be focused uh, funny it says focus but are you focused uh, buffer time yeah in the buffer time i'm going to do all these things in free time that's the first step second step is you are going to print this or you're going to write this yourself to just say put all the times in one say we call this and you're going to block Step one, you're going to identify what's the team each day. Preferably get to that habit. 12 weeks, if you do it, it will fall in place. Then people around you will, will know that as well. Once you know that you're going to block in your personal time, that's your personal time. You're done with it. The next one is you are going to do your start and end time. Remember, you won't just go suddenly somewhere. You need to plan your things. And if you have a standard cycle, that's where you're going to put in your start and end time. This gives you like even to achieve your own time, your own personal time, there are some moments required, right? Which which kinds of gives you how to use different sketches, different pens uh, to plan this, to do this. And again, you, you, your kids will love this. If you have children, grandchildren, friends, wife, et cetera, sit down and say, hey, let's let's act, act plan this. When do you actually have time for yourself? I go to school, I do my homework, I do this. Uh, you know, you go back home, you 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 help um, cooking, cleaning, washing, ironing. Um, you know, you, your wife comes back from work, partner does, husband comes. You know, you know him. Collectively, it will be a beautiful exercise to work through. And again, this is where we are stopping block recurring meetings and commitments. Tomorrow, we'll be going deeper on this time blocking to just see how we can maximize it. But I know this is very tactical. I know this is what we're talking today, but I just want to get you into this habit of free time, focus time, buffer time. There's no more every day is the same. One day you need to come Wednesday, whenever you pick up for focus day, you need to be like a machine. You need to be like, a I don't know, powerful to get things done. Buffer day, free day, for, for free day, probably rejuvenating. So we stop there. And we'll continue rest of the bits uh, next tomorrow, and we'll nicely end with the meditation. So hope that helps. Thanks for joining today, and I'm glad that you got the templates to work on, work around it, and let's let's slowly move into what we call energy cleansing meditation. Thank you for joining today on day thirteen. Hello, and welcome to this energy cleansing meditation. Mm -hmm. To start, find yourself a safe, comfortable position. And once you are settled, just allow your eyes to gently close down, relaxing your hands, either by your side, gently on your lap, or wherever is most comfortable for you.
turn your awareness inwards to your breathing, to the gentle rise and fall of your chest. On your next inhale, take a deep breath in, fully expanding your lungs and chest. Then just sigh it all out as you begin to let go of any tension. Release any thoughts that may be lingering. Allow your mind to fully relax, gifting yourself this time. This time is for you alone. Time to heal, cleanse, and release any unwanted energy. Take another deep breath in, pausing at the top, and again with a sigh of relief, just let it all out, taking with it any negativity and unwanted energy. Take a moment now to scan over your entire body. Make a note of any area that you are holding tension. Give yourself permission to release it all. Allow your body this time to fully relax and heal. Know that you are safe. You are in complete control and you can take this time for yourself, breathing nice and easy, slow, gentle, natural breaths. Be conscious of each and every breath you take, in and out, drawing in healing energy and releasing all negative and unwanted energy. See now in your mind's eye, a bright light high above you. This light is pure, protective light that is shining upon you. This light has always been there, guiding you, watching you, loving you. See the light slowly getting closer. With each number, see the light coming closer to you. 10, feel its radiant light, warming and healing your entire being. Nine, moving closer. Eight, Getting closer and closer. Seven, healing and rejuvenating. Six, five, closer and closer. Four, three, almost with you. Two, feel the warmth and bask in its light. One, feel the light make contact with the top of your head. 
at your crown chakra. See the light as it begins to slowly spread with your entire body. From head to toe, releasing all tension, relaxing your muscles. Feel as it gently removes all negative energy. And in its wake, replenishing with fresh, pure levels of positive energy. Take some time now to enjoy this process. Trust this light as it protects and heals you. Take a deep breath in, filling your lungs as much as you can, and then exhale. It is done. You have replenished all of your energy replacing with new, fresh, positive energy. Feel happy, clean, clear and healthy. As the light now retracts from your body, always nearby, or whenever you need it. When you are ready, you can slowly Open your eyes, bringing yourself back to the room around you. Remain grateful and mindful of your energy. Right, that's the end of day 13. Thanks for joining today and continue to practice your focus day free day and you will buff a day. We will continue tomorrow and we'll finish off the rest of the exercise. Until then, take good care and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.